hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is bukisa queen from uganda currently in saudi arabia america working as a caregiver <laughs> hope you're doing really great because i'm doing fine i really want to appreciate everyone that takes that time to watch my video oh may god please bless you for me and for the returnees thank you so much for always returning and being loyal if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for or if you're seeing this beautiful face for the very first time please consider subscribing to this channel and join the family <laughs> i hope you guys are really doing well how's the month of ramadan taking you guys this side we are fine yes people are already shopping for it people are preparing for it so I want to wish everyone, every Muslim person, a Idi Mubarak. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, today I want to talk about, today I want us to, to talk about something which disturbs most of us and most of most of us are facing this challenge but we, we we look at it at something that is so small but it is breaking a lot of people so i want you to watch this video till the end comment like share you know i hope you understand for me to ask you that at, at the beginning i know you're going to like this topic so this topic is about being a starter. Start now. Start now. Or never. What am I trying to mean? Most people in life fear to start. I would say, me as a person, I'm a go-getter. If I want something, I'll always start. There and then, as long as it has come to my mind. I'm someone who never fears to fail. I don't fear to fail so what I'm trying to talk about is you have to start now start now as in so many people are there you want to start a business you want to travel you want to make a family you want to propose to someone you want to go to school but you're scared of negativity you're scared like if I do this if I start, okay, like at my age, if I say I'm going to go back to school, what will people say? And yet you know the judgments for something very important. So just because you fear what people are going to say, look at this guy as big as he has started going back to school, you know? You're the one who is going to lose. Most people want to start businesses. But just because you think if you're to start a business with a small capital, it won't work. But when you listen to many people that have made it the no one actually i always ask myself that why is it that everyone that has made it in life the big business entrepreneurs everyone said, says i started small oh i started with okay i will say in our currency i'll talk about my own currency like someone will say not even a hundred k but someone will be like i started with one thousand ugandan shillings and you're like what and the person is having a business worth billions, but it's like, I started with 1,000 shillings. And so you're there, you have 100K, which can start up something big, like in my country, Uganda. Actually not big, but something that can even feed a family of five, you know? And you're scared to start because people will, people, people will say like, how can you do such a business, you know? This is not going to work. For you to be a starter in life, you have to distance yourself from people with negative vibes. That is number one. And secondly, if you really want to make it in life, you have to close your ears. You have to become deaf. Because if you don't close your ears, if you don't put cotton in your ears, you're going to hear a lot of things and they're going to affect you. You know, we have, we are of different types and everyone has the way they think, the way they feel. So personally, like me, I have a plugging heart. So I really hate listening bad things or like negative things. They put me down. So if I don't 
if i don't like or if i say hate it something big but if you just me this you just see me distancing myself from you i hate negativity and i love to be surrounded with people that have positive minds all the time why am i talking about this today i've seen a lot of people facing this challenge like they have the money but someone thinks that to start a business you need to have billions of money no that is not the way people have money that can even help them travel to go to another country to look for Guna pastures but because they think that if i'm to get this five million and go to dubai everyone in dubai is getting like one million or okay in it's in dubai it's one thousand dirham which is like one million in my in, in my country so someone will be like i'd rather stay in uganda you know i'd rather stay in uganda and work why should i go to dubai because of and put five million no out let me work in uganda and maybe go to america when are you going to get the 40 or 70 or 50 million they're asking you for but if you're to travel if you're to travel like to dubai or go to saudi you're going to learn other things you know stop listening to what people tell you you have a dream but your dream is shattered because you like to listen to people's words like you're surrounded with people with negativity in life you have to be a starter everything if we, we if we're not starters we wouldn't be here because starting starts in the stomach <laughs> your mother gets uh, pregnant for you and you're born after nine months but for you to become like me or to grow up and start to move you start by crawling so look at yourself or business or anything that you're facing in life in a way of the way you you you've reached like of age where you are and what you went through you started by crawling started with one step to move and later on you started moving you started with one word and now you're speaking you know a lot of words so you have to look at that and you're like okay if i start this you never know it's going to bring out something good i remember when when they told me actually me personally about my traveling when i got to know about this company that i traveled with i was working at a registration and i was promoting them because they brought an advert and the person that was working the office was my friend so they were bringing maids but they also had the alternative of bringing nurses so my friend told me told me about it then i was like but i will see i will see then it was like no there's this option of nurses and i know you can manage because i know you can't work as a maid but at least this it's easier so i was like okay let me look for the money you know but i was surrounded with negative people and they were like seriously saudi arabia what what but in my heart i always leave people to advise me but i decide for myself it's one percent that can advise and i'm like okay you know but i always advise myself and decide for myself other people advise me but the conclusion is mine so i was like okay so when everyone talked hey people are dying what, what 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 but i'm seeing people i have friends that are, have worked and they're fine what so i was like okay so I just woke up one day and I'm like, okay, I'm going to start this. Even when I was starting the process, by the way, I was doing it, but my other heart was like, but is this going to work out, you know? Then when I paid everything, I, when I paid for my passport, I did the interviews and like the day they called me to pick my passport, it is when I was like, okay, yes, so I'm going to travel. And I had faith. I was like, okay this is going to work and now here i am you know it wasn't easy because we're always surrounded with so many people and most of us leave those people to decide for us or to think for us which is not right it is you to think for yourself it is you to 
to to conclude let them speak yes you can never do everything by yourself but let them talk it's you to 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 decide like speak let them speak listen to what they've said and then okay pick one or two you know pick one or two it's going to help you but it is you to start now my sister my brother you want to do a business start now everyone there is no rich person that started with much everyone starts with little everyone started with little every church that you see every pastor will tell you i started i used to preach under the tree we started two we started three and now they're having big churches you know everyone that has a school started with one classroom and divided it into portions but now the school is big so everyone that you admire out there they have a story to tell stop admiring people and you know some of you trash the stories that these people that have made it tell you and you're like ha huh, how can someone start with one thousand now you have billions stop putting that in your head and stop despising jobs guys yes stop there are some fr friends that will not tell you the truth. There are some friends that will not tell you the truth. For me, I had a friend that traveled first. I hoped her and she traveled first. She came to Saudi. She came as a maid. But when I came to Saudi, she could not believe because I used to work with her. She couldn't believe that I'd come to Saudi. But I was like, okay, I'm around. I'm in Riyadh. Then she was like, are you for real, Queen? I was like, yes. But I told her anyway. I'm not working as a maid, I'm working as a nurse, just taking care of a patient and there is a maid around. So she was like, yeah, I wish I was like you, you know, by then I didn't have money. You don't have to put that in your head. These fingers are not the same, they're of different sizes. So probably everyone has his own blessings. So stop thinking negatively about yourself. Start with what you have. And believe in yourself you have to be a starter you're going to get the Red Sea but God will always put a way for you a paved way for the Israels Israel. <laughs> oh my God. a paved way he paved the Red Sea for them and they crossed my sister, be a starter. Start now. You have to start now. Don't look down at you on you. Don't despise yourself. We I've seen a lot of lame people. They don't have legs, but they're working. They don't have hands. Someone doesn't have hands, has legs only, but is working. And you ask yourself, God, like I have hands, I have legs. If this person that is lame can do this, then why not me? You know, be a starter. Be a starter. You're going to thank me later. This world is for the strong. You have to be a starter to make it. So I don't want this video to be so long, but I just want to encourage someone out there that don't be this lazy person. Don't be a lazy person. Don't be the weak be the strong because God says we're the head not the tail I'm not the tail I'm the head that is why I'm called Mukisa Queen Mukisa it's in my local language but in English it means blessing and I've been called a queen ever since I'm a kid so I always tell people I'm a queen you may say this girl is ugly this girl what I'm a queen yes I know I'm a queen I'm beautiful I'm loved, I'm rich. I always tell myself, God, what? My name is Tata. I'm a believer. I have faith, you know. So, you want to propose to someone, start now. You want to vibe someone, start now. You want to do a business, start now. You want to travel, start now. You want to process a passport, start. You want to process a driving license, start. You want to go to driving school, start. You know, stop saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. It is a song launch it out launch that is when you are going to know that you're serious launch so my name is mkisa queen 
comment give me your own thoughts about starting or give me your own story i always i always oh, like back and i always interact with my 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 viewers so i love you so much if you're watching me for the very first time please like comment subscribe and share help someone out there help a sister a brother this channel is all about spreading love learning even me myself i come and give you my own thoughts my views but i would also want to hear from you let us share thoughts i still get it i love you so much bambi subscribe <laughs> subscribe bambi <laughs> Subscribe, like this one. Mwah, 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 mwah. Eid your mubarakah to the Muslims and may God grant you your heart desires. May God grant you all your heart desires in this Ramadan. Love this one. Ciao.